here is a case where we are sharing new generation huge medscope recently released where rirs with tfl we are sharing in a simple case this case the stone is situated in the pelvis approximately 1.2 to 1.3 cm stone and uh, this is the huge med flexible scope after initial hiccups they have released one more new generation scopes we are demonstrating the video with this the flexibility of these scopes are as good as uh, reusable scopes in fact may be better the view is like this we are using directly in the ureter after passing the access sheath once you are inside all the calices can be inspected with this scope uh, with uh, uh, some scopes have yellow vision some scopes have pink and reddish vision huge med scope has pinkish reddish vision sometimes they may make the naturality but the clarity of the scope is good we are using 110 hertz tfl in this video i am also sharing little bit of uh, tfl laser settings tfl laser even if you don't touch the stone like here will cause powder this is actually fragmentation mode one joule 10 hertz not dusting mode but dusting happens we don't know the reason but the fragmentation mode if you use 110 best dusting happen irrespective of the stone here sometimes uh, to have good dusting without uh, fragmentation this is good you can see some mucosal blanching with tfl it happens more with tfl uh, this type of mucosal blanching and uh, coagulative effect will be more than homium laser this is actually unedited video of 9 minutes uh, how 1.2 cm stone can be steadily powdered in 9 minutes this is possible if you do a popcorn at the end as much as possible if you see carefully stone is not wobbling when stone is not wobbling and one more observation if you see i am not reducing the surface the area i am reducing only volume by removing one one layer from the stone by removing one one layer from the stone if you remove one one layer from the stone like textbook pages the surface area will not be reduced till the last minute only volume will be reduced if you do cm it appears as if stone has not decreased in size with the advantage of this is the stone is not moving see it is static retropulsion with tfl is very less because it is primarily a long duration pulse width the tfl itself is a long duration pulse width that's why movement of the stone and retropulsion are very less anyway after some time stone becomes small once the stone becomes small what happens is it wobbles it moves and when you touch the stone continuously it becomes pieces so to have better sfr you can take the stone into one calyx still it is not in the calyx it is in the pelvis only in the pelvis you can do nice uh, powdering but you cannot do popcorn or fragmentation because chasing the stones will become difficult in a large pelvis so if you see carefully here we are trying to do powder as much as possible by not keeping the laser fiber at one place this is the primary essential point in rirs is don't stay at one place and weaken the stone keep on moving on the surface so that let the small amount of the dust go away from the main stone like this continuously the scope is moved from one place to other place by either microchipping or surface painting these are the two methods surface painting this is at the edge if you come it is microchipping this is the microchipping edge if you are on the surface like this it is painting when you are on the surface uh, usually fine dust will form when you are at the microchip if the energy is increased large fragments may form that's why too much energy should not be used when you are aiming for the dust this is the area where homium and tulium fiber laser both are equal as far as dusting is concerned 
because if you increase the energy they will become pieces now see the stone has gone into the calyx is a good sign because even if it wobbles it cannot go run away from the situation and uh, second thing is when you are doing like this invariably fragmentation happens after the stone has become thin you have reduced the surface area reduced the surface area reduced the surface area last few papers when you are dealing with uh, with decreased volume it becomes pieces still still it is dusting if you see the video still it is dusting so if you keep on doing dusting it is better as much as possible in stones less than 2 cm dust it so that sfr is better see it is still dusting without touching the mucosa without touching the stone also it is dusting but at one stage invariably fragmentation happens if you watch carefully we are using one joule 10 hertz that is 10 watts is a standard when you are using 10 watts it doesn't make any difference between tfl and homium laser now when the stone is wobbling too much it's it has lost its volume now so the energy causes some amount of uh, vibration with that vibration uh, slowly see the fragmentation first fragmentation has formed after this uh, powdering is very difficult this is a time this is see 1 joule 10 hertz thulium fiber laser fragmentation mode still doing little bit of popcorn this is equal with homium and thulium fiber laser but if you want more faster popcorn see if you do like this it will take another 10 minutes for this to completely make powder but with thulium fiber laser high frequency it can go immediately faster dusting see still it is uh, 1 joule 10 hertz popcorn uh, it's uh, the same energy settings was doing powder now it is causing vibration and popcorn no problem if you keep on spending in a closed calyx ultimately it, is, it becomes powder now see we have switched over to high frequency 100 hertz and 0.2 joules here vision will be little hazy but the but the powdering effect through the popcorn is very very fast this 100 hertz is not possible with uh, homium laser sometimes 200 hertz also we can use some people say that 100 watts laser with 80 hertz is sufficient but we personally feel 100 150 hertz with low energy like 0.2 joules see in one minute uh, all these uh, uh, small fragments have become powder so to conclude thulium fiber laser fragmentation mode 1 joule 10 hertz dusts the stone very well but it is equal with homium laser with same settings but once the stone gets fragmented and become pieces high frequency low energy with thulium fiber laser has advantage over the homium laser what is that high frequency uh, low energy is point point uh, uh, 1 joule and 100 to 200 hertz which is not possible with the high wattage homium laser also because maximum 80 hertz i think uh, it will come with homium 100 watts laser so this is a new generation uh, scope the duration of the scope uh, uh, usage is controversial as in disposable scopes some say it comes uh, for uh, 4 hours uh, 10 hours 20 hours after usage and uh, doing some studies only we can conclude whether they will and these scopes we are dipping in chemical sterilization completely let us uh, hope uh, the flexible scopes uh, can be reused and with a little more duration without the mechanism of failing thank you